two for two. Play fake and try to throw a slant and it knocked down. Either Anthony Jennings or Dylan Moses got a hand on it. I think it was Jennings. I think you're right. Right there being blocked at the line of scrimmage, and uh, six foot five Jennings goes up and gets it. Defense for Alabama. One of the better ones in the country, again, even though they're not as notorious as maybe years past. Isaiah Bugs from Ruston, Louisiana, the senior, leads the team in sacks with eight and a half. Brissett. Wow. Looked like Matt Wilson was shot out of a cannon. He was the first guy that made contact. Well, this Alabama defense is giving up more yards per rush attempt than any defense that Nick Saban has had. However, as you said, they're getting better. Those inside linebackers are starting to read those little angles and those little alleys and hitting it in the backfield. So here's the first third and long for LSU. 37% on third down on the year. We've just ticked under eight minutes here in the first quarter. Third down at 13. Play action, Burrow fires. Almost intercepted by Savion Smith. Had he held it, he'd probably still be running. Boy, that would have been a sweet one for Savion Smith. He started his career here at LSU. Now he plays for Alabama. The LSU receivers wanted to go at him. Better be careful. Bad read by Joe Burrow. Did not see the corner in the flat. Thought he had an easy throw to Jefferson. He's lucky he got away with it. You got to play. If Coach Orgeron said we have to be aggressive once, he said it 15 times yesterday in our meeting. Try to be aggressive here, but this is an aggressive Alabama defense led by Quinn and Williams, who's one of the best around, and he comes up with a sack. That's the 27th sack of the year. That's tops in the SEC and top 10 in the country. Well, when you're playing against Alabama's pass rushers, the leading sack defense in the SEC, you got to have a metal clock going. You got to do what the way Tua does it on offense. You look at your guy, you make up your mind, you get to number two, and you throw it away or run. You cannot pause. And now behind the sticks at second down and 16. Again, better get rid of it. Did on a crossing rock complete to Dylan. Dylan gets out around the 27. Almost takes the running game away from you. Alabama will lay their ears back and come after the quarterback. Justin Jefferson in motion on third down and seven from the 27. Burrow look out from behind. He's throwing this one in the deal. I don't know if they tried to get a screen set up and it blew up, but they did. And they Anthony Jennings, number 33, read it. Nowhere to go with the football. Watch the veteran play right there by Jennings. He sees it, he reads it, uh, get rid of it. First down LSU from its own 18. It's Edward Z. Lair trying to find something against that Alabama defense and didn't find anything there. Dylan Moses and they drop him for a loss. You know, I always get a kick out of everybody talks about improving. You know, we're getting better. We're getting better. We're, you know, we're just going to get better and better. And pretty soon we're going to be able to play with Alabama. Uh, Alabama's getting better and better, That's too. That's right. You know, they're I not mean, going backwards. No, they're not. And, and I'm watching them play defense at a way higher level than I saw at the beginning of the season. Second 11, Burrow again flushed. Throws back across the middle and incomplete in and out of the hands of Stefan Sullivan. Catchable ball. Play action, Burrow, deep left sideline, Jefferson knocked down. Patrick Sertan, the freshman, got a hand on it. Alabama has not been pressured. They haven't been in one of these situations where somebody forced them to make the plays. Alabama thought about a blitz, the give. To Brosset and he lost yardage. And I, I don't think they got enough where Coach O is going to want to go for this. More than his arm. And I don't think they should go fast anymore either. Their defense needs a blow here. First down from the 35. Burrow, that's knocked down again. You know what? Alabama is pretty sure that LSU is throwing slants and short passes. They've been coached up that part of their pass defense is to charge. If they get cut up front, put your hands up. And Isaiah Bugs did a nice job right there. We'll hurry here. 
Rosette didn't get it. Third down and one. Quinn and Williams. One of the guys there from that defensive front for the Tide. He's on the bottom of the pile. He is a load. Burrow running for his life. Throws it in the vicinity of Morrow. Boy, I'll tell you, Christian Miller has gotten healthy now. And him being healthy, he's become a weapon for this football team. Coming up. The left side of LSU right here, Alabama's right side. He defeats the offensive tackle quickly, and there's nothing Burrow could do. Remember, he got hurt in the opener last year against Florida State and missed the rest of the season. But he is second down and six, as were other three minutes remaining second quarter. Look out, Joe Burrow. Down he goes at the goal line, courtesy of Quentin Williams. It's not a safety, but it's awfully close. Brad. There's a difference between aggressive and reckless. There's no need to call that play right now. You're trying to get to the second half of the football game. You're having trouble blocking the edge all year. You can't make that call. Dylan Moses is a guy that came around the corner and then 92 joined him at the goal line. It's at the one foot line. I think back to that upset South Carolina when they beat him. Steven Garcia went nine for nine in the first half. That's what set him up. They're not getting that type of quarterback play, and they have it in the last five games. Not only to find rush yards, which they finished with minus one in the first half, but to buy Joe Burrow more time in terms of that quarterbacking. Devin White, he needs him to be more of a spark, not just emotionally, but heck, stop the run up the middle against Alabama. And Jamie, no time for Joe Burrow on that one as Quinton Williams has his second sack of the night. And it's a loss of five, and all of a sudden you find yourself third down and 14 or 15 you know, to open the third quarter. Uh, Jonah Williams, the left tackle, All-American left tackle for Alabama, said about Quinnen Williams, he's like trying to block a 300-pound bar of soap. <laughs> you can't get your hands on him. He said, you know, it almost feels good watching the other guys and the other teams not block him because we can't block him either. Exactly. If he's not on his way to All-American status, I haven't seen one. Burrow, a third and long. Got it to Jefferson, but he's not going to get anywhere near the first down marker. Mac Wilson, Sertan, and company are there, and so it's a three and out. Listen, you just can't. It's 16 nothing. You got to find offense. What do you do? I still say Joe Burrow's got to run some RPO or runs. Here he comes. And that lost to yard and a half. 92. He's just too good. You know, there's a saying: uh, if you play a middle linebacker, if you got one of those guys with a big butt in front of you, <laughs> you're a pretty good middle linebacker. And when you got a big butt in front of you like that, 92, wow. and last year you had big butts in front of you before. <laughs> They've had six defensive linemen drafted in the last two drafts. Burrow sends a motion man, Dylan fakes and goes back to Dylan. <laughs> Only a couple yard pickup. Good job by Deontay Thompson. Bama last year, and he's just continued on from there. Jefferson, the top receiver, in motion. A third down and 14. Here they come. Burrow in trouble. Trying to scramble for it. Only got back to the line of scrimmage. Guess who brought him down? 92. Yeah, 92. Hey, Jonah Williams calls him a, how would you like to block a 300-pound bar of soap? That's slippery. Very slippery. He stays fresh. They haven't played a lot of plays. They know it's a passing down. They haven't given up any yards running. Leonard Fournette's, you know, remember that game in 2015? I think he had 19 attempts for 31 yards. He's going, yeah, yeah, I did this before. <laughs> I've seen this movie. Yeah, I've seen this before. Out of the tents. Meanwhile, LSU at the 40 of Alabama. In desperate need of some points. Nick Brosette. Got a couple. It's almost not fair. Lloyd Cushenberry trying to block Quinn and Williams. He, he's almost in the backfield at every play. He's got a blocker on him, but he's so far in the backfield that they're having to cut and redirect. Play action. Burrow in trouble right away. He might have gotten a yard out of that. 
Jennings and Ray were there to bring him down. Trying to get out of the pocket. Nobody to throw to in the flat. Good coverage. Everybody reacted well to it. You slip a little bootleg out there and it's covered to, from the get go. You got to give up on the play. Third down and eight. And, and with the score the way it is right now, I think you're making a call as if you've got two downs to pick up the first down here. You can't punt. They need to get to the 30 at Alabama. Which would be their deepest penetration. And the throw is in and out of the hands of the tight end all. And it's fourth down. It was it? Edward Zelair going to the right side. And <laughs> I just, I don't believe Quinn and Williams can get over there that fast. No, it's, uh, that's not even fair, is it? That is a 295 pound man. Yeah, remember, he had to wait his turn because Deron Payne was a number one draft pick playing in front of him a year ago. Look at that pursuit. That's incredible. Yep. 23 if they want to win. And hold Alabama without anything else in the fourth quarter. Edward Z. Lair will bring the quarter to a close. And, and think about it this LSU team, even though. And we'll see. Yeah. In trouble again. Who's got him? You know it. 92. Yep. Well, Isaiah Bugs flushed him just a bit. And then 92. I mean, he, he, I mean, I don't, right now, you got to think that he's the player of the game. I mean, if you look at this offense that LSU is doing in this football game, Bugs flushes him just a bit up the middle, and nobody can block number 92. You know, he was considered by the Associated Press a preseason second team All-American. I, I don't know who's in front of him. Right. Oliver, maybe? And he, right. I mean, I don't know. Well, I know there's other good players out there, but we haven't seen too many better than this you know, guy. A, a, a guy used to say there may be some that are good, but they, it's got to be a top. <laughs> right? Second down, 18. Burrow again flushed out. Should have been a holding call. I don't think they called it. And now he's going to run for what he can, and it's a pretty good one. Back oh. inside the 25. Oh. Kind of into the hope situation in this game. Think about it. Over close to 500 yards of offense for Alabama. It could have been a hold on yeah. Bugs, no doubt about it. Close to 500 yards, but only 22 points. The only problem is in the left. Jamar Chase to the right for Burrow on second down at 10. A pass rush that won't give in. They try to throw a screen to help that. And Mac Wilson says, I got this. He makes the tackle. I think he says, we're not as good in the lines as we once were at the line of scrimmage. From behind, over through, but I for net out in the flat. Giles and Anderson up to the top, and Jefferson to the right of Joe Burrow on the third down goal. He zips it down the middle, and it's intercepted by Mac Wilson. Holy cow! Sixth career interception, his second of the year. That's your middle linebacker, by the way, making that acrobatic catch right there. And that will probably be the final attempt that LSU will get to get it in the end zone. Mac Wilson was lined up in that linebacker spot and dropped right from it. Watch him get his depth, go up, and make a beauty. And you want to know what it looks like from the Chick-fil-A pylon cam? Just as pretty. <laughs> Middle linebacker looking like a DB.